Hello guys, this is Al from Open Source Channel. Welcome to a new episode on how to. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Click on the bell icon so you get notified. Today I'm going to talk about Scrutiny for Docker. It's a little app that will automatically monitor your hard drives. It's very simple to install. We're going to use Portainer. And here on my gist on GitHub, you can find the code. I'm going to link all the actual websites in the description below. Again, here you can find all the information. It will automatically read the smart monitoring for your hard drives. If you have a server, of course, not every single hard drive is compatible. Only the new ones, the old ones. I think anything above seven, eight years might not be compatible, but five years, like some of you will see now later on, are still compatible and you will see everything. Now you need to make sure that you find out what is your PUID and PGID. Here we go. You can actually see here and later on I'm going to show you how I actually going to see mine by writing this little code in the actual terminal. All right, so I'm going to put my ID as you can see here and I'm going to press enter and you can see I am root and my ID is zero for both of them. That's all I need to know. All the rest, we don't actually need it. Let's go to the stack and I'm going to create the new stack. So we know we need to change this. So this is the actual stack there from the hub I got and made my own one as you can see here from the gist okay I'm gonna leave the link below so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna copy and that's it that's the only part you need to copy and I copy that then I'll show you how to use this code at the end and of course make sure the port is the correct one 8080 is the start you know the default one I changed mine because I already used an 8080 to 8585 so I'm gonna name my stack scrutiny I will have to change the S there we go go back and I'm gonna paste the code and I'm gonna change my PYD to zero once I'm done there we go and I'm going to leave all the rest as it is make sure the localhost 8080 stays as it is don't change it now I'm gonna change my time zone to London Europe and that's it I'm ready to go 8585 is the new one there and the volumes are correct for what I need to do restart unless it's stopped once it's been done all I got to do is the actual deploy the stack all right so let's deploy it and wait until it's done here we go the stack has been successfully deployed let's go to uh, the containers let's have a look inside there the inspect the container spec is okay let's have a look at the log and also works okay no, no errors there so perfect so next step now is to go back to the containers and I'm going to click on the link publish port 8585 to open a new tab with the actual scrutiny dashboard now before you start it wants you to do this code again you can find the same code in the uh, github page as well right so what you got to do now here we go that's the one I was talking about now you need to add this one every time you want to log new information uh, let, let me log in so we can start to to show you where you know what happens so i do that now and paste it and i'm going to press enter once i've been done a code will go through a yaml file collector is called so once the collector has been you will get all the information anyway here all right so once it's been uh, run the collector everything will work fine let's refresh and as you can see we got the two hard drives as i said one is two years the other one is five years so they're both smart now to get more information now type metrics i don't know why is always coming and i've seen other tutorials i've seen other pages on online other people got the same problem i don't know the reason why even though if i go to details as you can see somebody relocated the sector count there's error and a failure Although they are, you know, this is a two years. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. But again, you never know. Um, but it might be a problem with the actual hard drive. But that you know, a lot of people I know have been having the same kind of a problem. But as you can see here, you can actually find all the information. You can export. You change the settings. Some of most of the stuff, you know, this is still in development. So you know, don't expect a full working system. But it's a great to you know to view your drive details. Now to update, what you got to do is to run again the code. It's important you run the code to get up to date information. Again, as you can see, you got the status, you got the critical, you got ATA, NVA, SCSI, whatever you're running, everything will come up here. Only I got ATA stuff or SATA or whatever, is what they call it. And that's it. Now we got nothing there. We're going to do, let's go back at the end. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Here are more parameters. If you want to look. Again, I'm going to add this page at the 
in the description below, all right? So make sure you read it. Let's go back to the containers. There is no temperature at the moment, so we're gonna run it again. You gotta let it stay for a while before you get everything populated. So let's go back and connect again, and let's run the code again. There is a way, perhaps I'm gonna do a tutorial how to install cron jobs for portainer or for, for docker i should say that will help you to run uh, this kind of code automatically rather than do it manually as you can see you get information here now also populated the more you run it the more information you're going to get let's run it again as you can see now we'll go back refresh the page and you will see more information as you can see just that one has been added all right as you can see this is the actual script that i'm going to hopefully um install in the near future so i'm going to show you how and you can actually run cron jobs so you don't have to run that command automatically uh, manually sorry so you can do it automatically with regular cron jobs i already got in, in, in a gist so you know i'm gonna do it soon enough so anyway guys thanks so much for joining me for these small tutorials i hope i hope you enjoyed it as much as i did me doing it and i'll see you next time